What's going on kids? Pastor Jacob here with another Life Group video. Life's just full of questions, isn't it? Like for example, you may be asking yourself why I'm upside down on your screen right now. You may be trying to stand on your head so you can see me right side up. Our Bible story today is about a fellow that had many questions for God. You probably have a lot of questions too. Like, where is the kids ministry logo and music? Alright, I hope you have your Bibles with you today. Today, we're going to be exploring the book of Habakkuk. Habakkuk is in the Old Testament. It comes after the book of Nahum and before the book of Zephaniah. Habakkuk is what is known as a minor prophet. And that doesn't mean that he isn't important, it just means that his book is super small. So, this may be a good idea to use your table of contents when trying to find Habakkuk. So take a minute and find Habakkuk chapter 1. Grief, crying, worry, evil. All of that surrounded Habakkuk as he watched the city he loved not listen to God. Habakkuk knew the people of Judah were not listening. And so he turned to God and he asked, Why, God, why don't you punish them for not obeying? God answered. God said the nation of Babylon would rise up and take over Jerusalem. Babylon? God, Babylon is more evil and bad than the people of Judah. Why, God, would you let a nation who has never loved you punish your people, the people of Judah. Habakkuk waited for an answer. God, why? Why Babylon? I'll wait for your answer, God, but I need an answer. God answered Habakkuk. God gave Habakkuk a vision. God reminded Habakkuk that the righteous live by faith. Even when we don't understand what God is doing, we can trust in God and know that He is good and what He plans will be good. God would punish Babylon for not obeying Him. But for right now, Habakkuk needed to just trust God. Habakkuk listened and he heard God. And then Habakkuk prayed to God again. He said, Lord, I am in all of your actions. God, please remember to give us mercy. God, you are mighty and you keep your promises. I will trust in you, God. I will celebrate in you. You, Lord, are my strength. You help me to walk on the mountain heights like the deer. God wasn't mad that Habakkuk had asked questions. Habakkuk had really hard questions, but God was willing to listen and answer those questions. God is there for our questions too. We may be full of questions, full of really tough questions, but God is there and he's ready for us to ask those questions. Sometimes though, God doesn't answer right away or God doesn't give us the answer that we want. But that's okay, because we can trust that God is always good and his plan is always good too. I don't know about y'all, but these past several months have been nothing but questions, it feels like. But even with all the questions, we can know God was and is working. We've seen so many kids and adults and not just our church, but all across the country give their lives to Jesus and be baptized. People have taken this time to really look at their relationship with God and commit to giving him more time to living like Jesus. I've gotten the chance to hear from people all over the world and kids, God has not stopped using people to share the gospel and help those in need all over the world. People all over are still being served and giving their life to Jesus. 
it is a confusing time. But one thing is for absolute certain. God is still moving and God is challenging us to live more like Jesus every single day. So let's do that together. Let's challenge each other to live more like Jesus. We have a new memory verse. You may not have noticed, but now is the month of August. Now we get to practice and learn a whole new verse. I think you're really gonna like this verse. It's pretty simple and a great verse to have memorized. Our memory verse is in the book of Psalms. Do you know where to find Psalms? It's right in the middle of your Bible. So if you open your Bible to the center, you're probably gonna be in Psalms. Once you have found the book of Psalms, then you're gonna need to find chapter 113. I know that's a huge number. Our memory verse is Psalms 113, verse three. So let's learn our verse together. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Psalm 113, verse three. I love this verse. How many of you have ever gotten up real early to see the sunrise? I love watching the sunrise. I like a good sunset too. The sky is always just so pretty and full of so many colors. This verse is to remind us that from the earliest of mornings to the latest of nights, we should be praising God. God is worthy of all our praise, all day, every day. Okay, I want you to practice your verse this week. Try to get up and see a sunrise or go outside for a sunset and then think of this verse when you see all those bright, beautiful colors in the sky. Hi boys and girls, I'm so excited about our craft today. Pastor Jacob shared with us today that it's okay for us to have questions about God and why bad stuff may happen. But we can trust that God is good and His plan is good. He also shared our new Bible verse, Psalm 113.3. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Boys and girls, this is so true. Even when we have questions to ask God, we can still praise His name. So, let's make a sun to remind us that we can always praise God's name. All you need is a coffee filter, food coloring, construction paper, and a water dropper. So first, take some time to write the Bible verse on your construction paper. Then you'll take your coffee filter and cut it in half just like this. If you don't have a coffee filter, you can also just use a piece of paper. Next, mix a few drops of food coloring in about two tablespoons of water. You'll want yellow and red. Then take your dropper and drop your colored water onto your coffee filter. Once your coffee filter is dry, you can attach it to the construction paper to show a setting sun. I'm so glad you were able to join us today and I hope your craft reminds you that from the rising to the setting sun, we can praise God. Even when we have questions, we can praise Him.